Good day guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since some NRL tips, but this weekend we have the Maoris going up the Indigenous All-Stars. It's going to be a fantastic matchup. We're going to be speaking about the All-Stars match and my tip. I will be at this game. It will be at Parramatta Stadium, previously at the Gold Coast. Um, it is a work function that I'm attending though, so I will not be vlogging this game. But I'll take some photo, hopefully uh, get a chat with a player. Um, we'll wait and see how it goes. Uh, so this game is at 8 o'clock on Saturday night. The Maoris versus Indigenous. We have been waiting for some rugby league. One month to, or 30 days till the season starts as well. But let's break this game down. So last year, this game ended up being a draw, and I think there were some of the bigger name stars this year. However, a few clubs have actually rejected players to play. I believe Joseph Manu, Kalen Ponga, a few other players have been actually rejected from their club. To get into that mindset of the season, obviously Latrell Mitchell cannot play for the Indigenous side due to suspension, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, he brings a lot to this team, but let's get into this team. First off, starting with the Maori, and that is Jordan Rapana at fullback. Morgan Harper on the wing. Dylan Walker moves into the centres with Remus Smith. Patrick Herbert from the uh, Gold Coast Titans. I almost said the Warriors there on the wing. And then the Warriors halves in Chanel Harris-Tavita and Cody Nikarima. Obviously, Benji Marshall is in retirement. Uh, and Benji Marshall no longer part of that Maori All-Stars team. You've got Joe Tarpane uh, in jersey number eight. And Aaron Clark is the hooker for the Maori All-Stars. James Fisher-Harris, probably one of the biggest names I've said so far in the number 10 jersey. Really looking forward to seeing him get back on the field and back in form. Kenny Bromwich, who's signed with the Dolphins and gets one more year with the Melbourne Storm. He'll be playing in this game in the back row with Britton Nakora and Jazz Tavaga at lock. And then on the interchange, you've got uh, Isan Masters, Royce Hunt, uh, TC Rabadi. Uh, well, Tui, it says Tui Rabadi. I'm not sure if that's different to TC. Uh, could be the brother of. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know that one. And then Kevin Proctor in jersey number 17. On the reserves, you've got Jaden Nikarima, Takapu Hatupua, and Wudamu Greg. So that is the Maori All-Stars team. I think it's a pretty decent team. I think Rapana brings a lot to that side, a lot of energy. Um, I think he'd be pretty good on the wing, but I guess there's not really anyone I'd put at fullback over him in that side. I would love to have seen Charles Nickel Klockstad uh, once again at fullback for the Maoris, but just not meant to be for that Maori All-Stars team for 2020. Let's get into the Indigenous side and the celebrations at the start of this match, the, the cultural dances and things uh, for the Indigenous side. For both sides, the Haka as well. I'm, I'm so excited, guys, for some footy. But uh, the Indigenous side at fullback, you've got William Kennedy. You've got Hammer, the Hammer, Hammer, Hammer So, Tibua Fido on the wing from the Cowboys. Uh, Jesse Ramian and Brent Naden in the centres. I believe someone else was in the centres, but Brent Naden was a late call-up, if I'm not mistaken. Josh Addo Carr, I believe he will be the captain of this side, and he'll be in jersey number five on the wing. Interesting halves combination, and it is Nicholas Hines and Braden Trindle. This could be the Cronulla Sharks. Halves combination. So you could have the Warriors versus the Sharks in the halves here. Uh, but it's a nice little choice there. And then in the four pack, you've got Andrew Fafita, uh, Ruben Cotter from the hooker from uh, uh, the Cowboys, uh, Ryan James and David Fafita. And then you've got Tyrell Fumianu and Josh Curran. Really looking forward to David Fafita. I think he had a great season last year. I think he was quieter towards the back half of the year than he was at the start. And I think in a game like this, Wearing that Indigenous jersey, he's going to go off. And then on the interchange, you've got Albert Kelly, uh, Will Smith, whose new club is the Gold Coast Titans, no longer with my Parramatta Eel, Jermaine Tanua Brown, and Josh Kerr. And then on the reserves, you've got Selwyn Cobbo, Tyrell Sloan, who was a late call-up, and Latrell Mitchell's brother, Shaki Mitchell. So that is the game. Refereed by Adam G and the senior review official will be Ashley Klein. I'm just looking at the nrl.com.au stats to provide this one. We've got a nice key matchup here of 
James Fisher-Harris versus Andrew Fafita. Uh, both of these uh, players have won premierships, um, and it's a great matchup in the middle. I don't know who... I, th I think with the, the players the Indigenous side have, I think that Andrew Fafita will perform well. But Fisher-Harris, he, he, I think he's a, a better player as an all-rounder personally. But really interesting... Um, well, obviously, it is the All-Stars match. However, a lot of the All-Stars players are out. But let's have a look and, and analyze this and who I'm going to tip. All right, so let's have a look at a perspective from betting. The Maori All-Stars are underdogs in this game. Um, I think it was a similar situation last year, but obviously I mentioned at the start of this video that it ended up being a draw. The Maoris are paying $3. They've got the home ground advantage. They're the home team of this game, and the Indigenous All-Stars are $1.40. The line is set at 7.5, so if you don't know what that means, it basically means that people are predicting the Indigenous team to win by 8 or more, and if you like the Maoris, you're taking them to either win or lose by 8. Uh, Less than six. That's a pretty tough line, to be honest. The first try scorer favourite is Josh Adokar. He'll be on the wing in that position, so it's really good. And anyone from the uh, Maoris is paying $12 and above. Jordan Rapana, a really nice price there of $15. There's no total points for this game as well. But look, looking at these sides on paper... I really can't go past the Indigenous side getting the win here. I think the Maoris defensively will will try their best, but in the end, I just think even without some of their big names, Cody Walker, Latrell Mitchell, you've still got really classy players in Josh Adokar, um, who's going to have a big game before his... We'll see how his season goes at the Bulldogs, but I, I don't know if he'll be able to keep as much form as he's had uh, at the Melbourne Storm, but we'll, we'll wait and see. I could eat my words there, who knows? And then you've got another great winger in the hammer, um, but look, there are some great matchups to look forward to, but ultimately my tip is going to be the Indigenous All-Stars. I know they're not considered the home team in this game, but I just think they'll be a, be a little bit too good. Um, and I'd probably take them at that line, to be honest. I think that the Maoris will struggle um, to score points in this game. And my tip is going to be the Indigenous All-Stars to win 26 points to 10. I think that the Indigenous team will win by 16 um, I'm actually going to go with the Josh Adokar first try scorer. I don't like to back favourites, but I think $7.50 for Josh Adokar to score first. I think it's a bit of value. I really like it. You know what? An anytime try scorer from the Indigenous side, he's at $5. I'm going to go with Braden Trindle. I think that a halfback who can genuinely run um, can score points. I'm going to go with Braden Trindle. And I mean, I've mentioned him a few times. I think Jordan Rapana. Um, is a really good choice as well. Um, another one is Josh Curran, but he's playing in the lock position, so I think he'll find difficult to score. But yeah, I'm going to go with Addo Carr and Braden Trindle as my two try scorers and the Indigenous team to get the win on Saturday night by 16 points. But really, really looking forward to this game. Some great matchups. Uh, you've got Cody Nicarima up against Braden Trindle. You've got Jazz Tavaga against Josh Curran. You got David Fafita up against Kenny Bromwich, uh, Ryan James against James Fisher Harris. The, there's still some big names. Just don't forget that there are some big NRL level players still in this game because I feel like it's not being hyped up as much as it should be. We got rugby league back for God's sake, and I'm hella excited, and and I hope you guys are excited too. Before this video ends, I just want to mention that tomorrow night uh, at 8 p.m. New South Wales time, make sure you are on Sam Revel's channel. Myself, Sam Revel, BKR Sport, will be joined by the NRL's Chad Townsend to speak all things Super Bowl 56, the Los Angeles Rams against the Cincinnati Bengals. We'll be revealing our tip. We'll be speaking about Tom Brady's retirement. It's going to be a huge chat. Can't wait to have a chat with Chad Townsend tomorrow night, not on this channel, on Sam Revel's channel. But guys, make sure you comment your tip below and why you're tipping them. Your first try scorer, go on. We've got some footy back. Comment your first try scorer. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Plenty of NRL content coming as we are getting very close to the NRL season. And we're getting closer and closer to my season preview. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later.